So the thing I want to do with him is introduce him to the pressure, what the prong is going to feel like. You feel them on there, right? Yeah. And all I'm doing is this. Right. So you have yeah. a choice. There you go, perfect. The bad thing is when you put a prong collar on wrong, the dog goes into fight or flight. Before I ever, ever, ever put a correction on the dog, I teach him how to get away from the pressure. Just to introduce him to the prong collar, I want to use the puppy prong. And these are actually Goofy and Maya's prong collar. Um, I just want to get him introduced to it right. to see how he's going to respond to it. Because he might respond a lot better to a prong than a chain. And we'll, we'll just see. So the more he sees it going on and off, on and off. Right, here, right. Here, back, back. Okay. Yeah. Oh boy, here. And the smaller ones are a little harder. Good, and it's on? Good, yeah, good boy. Good. And I'm gonna show you the first basic exercise I'll do with him to introduce him to the leash pressure. Right. We're gonna use two lines. In other words, I don't ever, ever, you see how it sits up high? Right. This is the size you're gonna to wanna to get. Right, This is okay. the 2.25 millimeter. Um, and we'll count how many prongs are in it, so you can just order one on Amazon. Um, you wanna get the Herm Springer one because all the edges are polished. I have the big one. The other ones, they can be sharp. So the thing I want to do with him is introduce him to the pressure, what the prong is going to feel like right. okay. before I ever, ever, ever yank him on it. Because the minute you yank him on it, the minute he hates it and it's uncomfortable. So you've got the one line. So if he gets completely spooked and we don't know, anything can happen, I'm just going to drop this. So it's going to take all pressure off of him and you're just gonna have that there as a, as a backup. So all I wanna do here is I want him to see what this is gonna feel like and what I expect of him, Okay. right? So I'm gonna have a little piece of treat. I'm gonna say, Max, good. And I'm just gonna put a little pressure on it. And what, good. And while I do, okay, that's totally normal. E-collar, prong collar, as soon as they feel something different, they look to the ground. What's going on, right? I'm gonna put a little pressure on it Good, and I'm gonna feed him. So he should know that this pressure is a good thing. Put a little pressure. Yeah, good boy. And he moves, his main goal is to move away from the pressure. So if I put pressure, yeah, good boy. That's exactly what I wanted to do. The bad thing is when you put a prong collar on wrong, the dog goes into fight or flight. So uh -huh. that means if he feels this pressure, he pulls against it. Now he's locked, now he doesn't know the way out. So if he's this way, Watch him. Yeah, good boy. He comes to the pressure, right? Right. So here, yeah, good boy. He comes to the pressure. Before I ever, ever, ever put a correction on the dog, I teach him how to get away from the pressure. So if he was running at a dog or a bird or something that way, and I pop this, he should know, okay, if I go towards the pressure, it turns off. If he doesn't know that, he's going to fight it, and he's going to strangle himself. Right. right? So here. Yes, good boy. Man. We're gonna just, I'm gonna do a couple, then you're gonna do like 10 and we're gonna put them away. Yes. So now I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna stand with the treat in one place and I'm gonna lure him somewhere else. So he's gonna be there. I'm gonna put the treat here and I'm gonna lure him away from the treat. And he should, good. See, he goes into the, he should be smart enough to turn off this pressure. And he's, he is, he's going into, yeah, good boy. And then I'll bring the treat to him. That's just a little trick I like to do. Cause if he goes here and he fights the pressure, he's not getting the picture. Right. Usually dogs are very, very smart with this, especially if they haven't been taught the wrong way, it's easy to teach them the right way. Once right. they've been taught the wrong way, it's hard to unring that bell, but he should know pressure. See what he's doing? Yeah, good boy. He goes right. He follows the pressure and turns the pressure off. So just do a few, just so you, I know you have the exercise. Okay. Max. So don't, don't, no pressure on that, right? So just get in front of him or over, get on this side of him and put some pressure on it and don't, don't show him the tree. Just, and it's a, a gradual pressure. Keep the pressure on. Don't take it off there. 
just hang on to it. No, no, don't move. A little bit more pressure. No tapping, just pressure. Yes. Yes. Exactly that. Good boy. That's a huge picture for him, right? Now keep him sitting and do it. It's much easier for him now. Yes. Good. Yes. Yes. I'm not going to say anything because he's looking at me when I say yes. So just remember it's yes when he does the move. Pressure. Yes. Good. Good. So have the leash taut and have some good pressure on there. Yes. Good. Do three more. Yes. Good. Now put Good. more pressure and stand in front of him. Stand right there. Put the pressure to your left or your right, not towards you though. Good. Good. Good boy. Yes. Yes. One more. Don't show him the treat. Yeah, good. Good. Excellent. Yes. By the end of the week, ideally what you should be seeing is put him dead in front of you, hold the pressure. He should actually walk way over to that side to turn it off. Right now he's learning. So he's saying, okay, I'll take a step and sit down. Because you don't want to keep putting the pressure on because right. then he can't get away from it. The minute he does even that, yeah, that's right. Because that is a step towards this. This is a step right. towards okay. all the way over. That's what you want him to learn. We're only teaching him how to turn off pressure. There's no popping, nothing for the next week. Nothing. You know, order this on, I'll, I'll give you I'll the get, link. Um, it's a puppy prompt, but it's going right. to be, benefit him for the next few months where it's going to fix anything before it starts. So the idea here is the picture would be here and just do it once. F have him facing you, you face out this way. Pressure, hold it, he moves. Yeah, good boy. Then here, pressure, hold. Yes, and move. Okay. Just do it two times and we're done. Okay. Right? And now take it to wh whatever side you want. Yes, yeah, good, good boy. Now on a sit, he's going to go further. So take it over his, over the, keep it where it is. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Pressure. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, he did it. Good yeah. boy. So Good he's boy. getting you with just moving Good his boy. head. In other words, literally, this and this is turning the pressure off. Right. If you were a jerk, you could keep putting more pressure. But the idea really will be, you'll see, by the end of the week, you'll put more and more and more pressure. You'll have him out here, and he'll actually go over to there and then just mark that. Good. Good. Yes. Yes. Good. If I do this, it sucks, right? Because you're right. like, shit, what's going on? Why are you doing this to me? But now, you feel them on there, right? Yeah. And all I'm doing is this. Right. So you have yeah. a choice. There you go. Perfect, right? And then I do it this way. Right. Right. This way, if I'm walking the dog and he does something and I do this, he knows, oh, okay, every time I acquiesce, I come back. Then if he jams himself and goes out, it's his fault. His fault. Right? Not your fault. You really want to be fair with tools like this because it's, I mean, think about this. Think about how much pressure I need to put on this hand to get you to come along. Right. How you can fight me on this one. Right. right. You can fight me on this one. And then fight me on this one. Not right. fun. So you're making it easier for the dog to make a good decision because he doesn't know how to make a good decision yet. You have to teach him that. So later, when I do this, he comes along and then that becomes muscle memory and the dog will always follow you. So. Real fair. Too much pressure on it's not fair, but any kind of pressure I put on it, you come and you, you, I immediately release the pressure. The bad thing is if you f come into the pressure and I keep doing pressure, right. now see what you just did naturally, yeah. you're going to come back that way. Right. So natural thing is as soon as you turn the pressure off, yeah, that's what I wanted you to do. And just keep doing that.